we are going to play Lake. We're going to Plake. <laughs> hey, what's up, Panason6? No GT Rat. Hey, Nose Jam. Should I bring this forward a little bit? Is that going to work? That better? I don't really. I've still not worked out a decent stream setup, to be honest with you. Maybe lower game audio just a bit. I think I think I can do that. Let me have a look. Uh, no, I can't. That's not how you do it. You need to go there. Go there. Game audio should be like 10% down. Bent pin. How does that sound now? Does that sound good? Does that sound good? Excellent. How's everyone doing? Are we all good? Hi, not a spaceship. Nice to see you here. How are we all doing? You all enjoyed the show this week? I can't wait to record on Monday. I genuinely can't wait to record on Monday. We've got um, Matt, James, myself, and Sean all back. Um, I've got lots to talk about. Uh, I need to talk about Life is Strange season. Oh, what's it called? Life is Strange True Colours, because I finished that. Um, I've got the Art for Escape to talk about, because I've finished that. Um, and I'm very excited. I've got lots to talk about. Um, it's going to be good fun. Sean's got a lot to talk about as well, apparently. So it's going to be good. We're looking forward to that. Um, and the feedback from last week's show, which uh, honestly has been some of the most positive feedback we've ever had for a guest. Ian absolutely knocked it out of the park. People loved it. So it's very, very exciting. Um, also. I had to remind him today, but James is playing the intro theme. Uh, <laughs> James is playing the intro theme for the podcast next week. What's up, Mock Turtle Soup? Okay, nice one. Okay, uh, thanks for the feedback. Yeah, if anyone wants to f uh, send us some feedback on whether they're playing or, uh, or last week's show or whatever, then go to tcgs.com. Got code forward slash dear TCGS, I think. The uh, show was great this week, but looking forward to you all being together. Yeah, you know, uh, I think the past few weeks have shown us that guests are not as scary as we thought they would be. Um, I think there was some reluctance uh, to get some guests on, and it's shown us that um, not only not only is it good to have guests on. <laughs> from time to time but um, also we should be broadening our pool of guests a little bit in various different ways so we you know um, we'll talk about it on the show next next week but what Ian said really hit home and sort of made me think actually I need to go out there and start uh, finding some people that would be good for the show because I'm sure there are plenty of people out there that are good for the show and maybe we can make a difference in terms of you know introducing some new voices that you've not heard before so that's that's what i want to do um who's your dream guest if you could have anyone uh actually <laughs> uh there's a few names that, that crop up in my head um uh charles martineau that'd be good david cage uh that'd be good um, I don't know. There's not many, right? Because instantly, when you say that, um, yeah, I'm not going to tell you what I thought of Art Force Escape. I'm not going to tell you whether I liked it, hated it, or was just completely indifferent. That's that's saving. That I'm saving that for the show. Um, the Queen of England would be good. Jed Wallace would be good. Although I'd want to get Jed Wallace on before he moves to a better club in January. Um, I don't know. You, you, on, honestly, you talk about who you'd want on the show. Who would you? Who? Uh, come on, get some ideas in. Who would you have on the show? 
Who do you want to hear on the show? That's what I want to ask. I'll see you later, Mock Turtle Soup. Enjoy your dinner. Might see you later. It's all good. Come on, I want some ideas. The Queen and Jed Wallace. Right, okay, bits of toad. Grow up. Yeah? Grow up. Take it seriously. For, for a change. Yeah? Because also, like, you'd think about people that that I'd want to talk to and all of that, but then how many of them play video games? It's not many. There's not many. I wonder what Jeff Keighley would be like on the show if we both started, to, if we all started like screaming at each other, having a pop at each other. I wonder how we'd deal with that. Vernon <laughs> Kay, apparently, he's addicted to games. Apparently, Vernon Kay is addicted to games. Peter Molyneux would be a good guess. Just to talk to him and go, what were you on about? What, what was all that about? All right, okay, let's go. Uh, we're going to start this in a minute. We want to show the mini map. That's a okay. vehicle follow camera. Okay. Player follow camera. I don't know what that means. Vehicle follow camera. Player follow camera. Off. On. Okay, uh, master volume, music, all of that, we'll do that. Keep radio on. Music licensing information, if you're licensed, you can play all music in the game. I'm not, if you don't have a license with Lemmit Music, you can play the game, but please send the URL to video of your video to us, so you can have it whitelisted to prevent monetization claims. Uh, what? We want music. Uh, who, who cares about monetization claims? Uh, we, we don't earn fuck all from our YouTube channel anyway, do we? Uh, language. English. Controls. <gasps> I don't need to do it. X is a cross. I don't need to do it though. I'm not going to turn it on. I've been working on that. I don't need to invert anymore. Capone needs to come back on for sure. It needs to come back on for sure. Right, are we ready to start lake? Are you all ready to start lake? Believe it or not, I've still been unable to buy a next-gen console and refused to gift in to the scalpers. Does anyone have any tips on how to get one legitimately? Cheers. So, I don't know if they still do them, um, but I just followed the community for a while because you get some tips on when they're going to hit the stores. Um, so that's well. Oh, we've just had a weekly. Let's have a look at that weekly activity report for Harry. Right. How long do you think he's been playing his Xbox this week? And what's his most played game? That's the question. That's the question I want you to answer. See how close you get. How long do you think he's been playing the Xbox this week? And what's his most played game? I'll let, I'll let you put your answer in for a little bit. Uh, realistic get as a guest. If you're looking for someone to improve your diversity, then Sean. Labode or Labode? I will check out Sean Labode. Three hours FIFA says Bitter Toad. You gotta remember Bitter Toad. New FIFA's not out though. It's well, it's well old that one. Twelve hours FIFA. Fifteen hours Minecraft. That's interesting. He works for PlayStation on Twitter. Same username. Okay, I will check. Check that out. Sensible Steve, thank you. Although, if he works at PlayStation, chances are he's not coming onto TCGS. Could be wrong, but I've got a feeling. Um, okay, so the answer was 59 minutes this week, which is low for him. And his most played game was Forza Horizon 4. Okay, uh, that was a very interesting one. Let's play some Lake.
All right, can I sit back here? Can I get away with sitting back here? Is that too casual? That's, is that too casual? That might be too casual. I like sitting like this, so it's just sitting back. And I can't see the screen properly. The chat. Here we go. <laughs> I'm not reading it out. It's funny how a program designed to help organize is the reason why I can't be at Labor Day party. Okay. But I'm glad we made the deadline. This is the Matt Murray life. And I'm glad I can spend two stress free weeks in good old Providence Soaks. Phone rings. You didn't need. Well, I suppose you did. Hello? There it is, Steve. Oh, right. There is speech. That's good. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Like that deadline, uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great, and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, Roy <and then> <laughs> got really Mike sick. Prick. No, wait. Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And, no, Roy. Uh, wait. Ah, well. I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow <coughs> morning. Well, <laughs> afternoon. I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah, but, uh, but do you really have to? <laughs> two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay, right, awesome. Um, you Why know, you I better that? get some sleep now. You're not My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, this is not really have a wonderful <laughs> flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. Daro Breen on. Daro Breen on. Come on. Thanks so much for picking me up, Mr. Coleman. Mr. Coleman? Please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, call after me Frank. all. Frank. Well, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always What's have each day? other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I American was in thing. a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail I'll in our get beautiful Shigeru little lake town? On and the show me the ropes? Not a bad idea. Sure. All right, then. Get ready to roll. Oh, the Koei 8 bit people. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I've got a feeling that maybe this is all in my head, but I've got a feeling that anyone like that just fucking hates us. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I don't think we got a lot of respect. I don't this think we got a lot of respect in the wider community. It's always more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving that around music, it. Down, and it? there's our first stop. Okay, sir, what's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park with mailboxes. Take this bag, okay. walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. <sighs> Okay, here we go. Don't need to invert anymore. Look, I'm a full convert now. Motor tune up. Who's this little fella? Is that a sperm? A sperm with a body drawn in under the bottom of it. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking about sperms too much. Like right, they're closed. Right, deliver the mail. Press A to do that. Where's the mailbox? Oh, it's at the... <laughs> okay, fair enough. There. Ooh, interesting. That's sarcasm. Meredith's a bit sarcastic. Can I run? What are the buttons do? Nothing. Okay. Nothing too difficult, right? I think I should be able to face the challenge. Ha, <laughs> I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. I left here for Massachusetts uh, 22 years ago. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? In the That's really still booming awake. right now. Well, actually, I'm... Um, uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package Do you have any time. connections so to James you'll have Buckley to get it out of the back. 
James started streaming during lockdown and got fairly big. Uh, also been on Ian Lee in the past. He has, yeah, no, I've got no connection with him. Um, uh, I've been to a couple of parties where he's he's been there. He seems like a really nice guy. We didn't talk, but... Um, oh, we did talk. But yeah, no, he seems like a lovely bloke, but um, no, no, I've got no connection to him. Uh, so, cannot have him under the shoe. Oh dear, yeah, so streaming Sea of Thieves is never a good idea. What have I got to do? Walk back to the mail truck. I've just got out of it. I need to focus on this a bit, don't I? Walk back to the mail truck. There. Oh, walk to the back of the mail truck. Right, gotcha. Okay, that was my bad. I need my glasses on. In fact, actually, I'm getting new glasses in a couple of weeks because my prescriptions changed. I'm getting older. I'm getting even older, baby. All to the front door of the house. That's a nice house. Isn't it? That's a nice house. Just take your time, Miss Weiss. They never start a game I'm until Frank Coleman has turned on his TV. Okay. Well, I'll take my time then, will I? Okay. Here we go. Nope. No answer. No answer. Just chuck it over the fence. I'm calling it a day. Okay. I can walk faster. I mean, barely. It's it's not even worth holding the trigger down, is it? Okay. You're getting the oh. hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. I don't understand moustaches. I don't get them. What's the point? Just grab There's it. no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. I don't get so, it. Before I get out, what I'll time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. Yes, sure. Just check in at the post office. And then just leave that bit. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. Never, never go. My dad had one for ages. It's just a bit weird. Right, let's go. Is this my house? I missed that. It's the front door of the house. Enter your pet. Oh, it's my parents' house. Okay. Meredith, I just wanted to let Hello. you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh one more ten thing. listeners the already. Ten. Food, and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. <laughs> I don't think this stream's gonna do very well, you know. Meredith, it's Steve. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Ah, I'll talk to you later. God, we've lost another two lids. Th th this is not a good game. <laughs> Good morning, Meredith. Oh, this one ready for your first day? Screen. Yeah, I'm ready for it. You're not guess. Good morning. Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock, right? Ooh. I'll be honest. Yeah, I guess. Good morning. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I okay, forgot to tell go. you. There's a map in the cabin in case you get lost. Okay. Lost me. Thanks, I'll probably Lost? need that. Lost me? Me? Bon confident. voyage! Didn't even react to it. It just said bon voyage. You would have said that either way. Okay, let's get in the cabin door. Why did that camera do that? It started off down underneath the map, didn't it? Okay. Okay, open and close the map. Right, so I'm here. So I've got a parcel straight away. I just. Deliver it there, do I? Okay, fine. Can I... Can I honk the horn? Yeah! 
Stop your fucking my old. Right, okay. So is that the first place? That's the first place, right? right I'll park up here. Yeah, I'll get out of here. How do we get out? Right. I'm out. Just. What's going on? I need to deliver a parcel here, right? Here? Anyone? What am I supposed to do? Floor it, nice parking. Cheers, nose jam. I, although I have blocked the pedestrian route, so that's not that's not brilliant. But what am I supposed to do here? Just leave. You out. You in a cool car. Good shout. Am I? Am I supposed to go to the back of here and get a parcel? Okay. Right. Two hundred Lake Road. Well, where am I? Oh shit. Where am I? That's not what I'm looking for. <laughs> oh, I did it again. Okay, forget that. Just, just having a look. Right, so I am on... Merida, right, okay. This is really bad. Letters, parcels. So I must be on Main Street or Lake Road, right? Main Street. Right, I'm on Main Street. So 207 Main Street, which is the general store. Okay, let's go into the general store. But what parcel? What, what was the number again? Oh, fucking hell. Right. 207 Main Street. 207 Main Street, right, I can do this. I can do this. 207 Main Street. Here we go. General store. I ain't gonna lie, your shop's pretty shit. What we got here? Mr. X. Where's your toilet roll? Plenty of pizza. Right, yeah, I mean, where's your toilet roll? Some cards there. Suntan oil, seven ninety nine. That went quick, didn't it? Look, they all about suntan oil. Maybe that's what's in the box. Let's find out. Can I help you? Hello. Here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college twenty two years ago. <sighs> twenty two years ago, back when they called me Nancy Sinatra ago. instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. No toilet roll shortage, uh, obviously. Actually, this is only temporary. Actually, yeah. this is only temporary. <sighs> That's what I said, too, a long time ago. I wonder if it's going to rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. A little weird thing to say. Uh, and I'm just going to walk away. Got some green mush. Someone needs to tidy that up. There's turner rings all over the fucking place. What have we got yet? Pop steam. Is that pop steam? Who gives a shit? What's in it? Nothing. Pizza. Right, okay, let's go. Just a fucking barrel of milk. <laughs> $2.20 for milk. That's expensive, right? This way. And get in the car. Get out of the way, please. She's moving my car. She... Did you see that? She's. She's got the power to move a truck. That's amazing. Well, I didn't really need to get out of the thing, did I? I could... Where's this? This one? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't even see you there, mate. Sorry, it's my first day. I forgot we drive on the right, but sorry about that. So this house, right? 103 Main Street. Okay. That's just a letter, so I can just get out of here. Wrong side of the road, but I'm only being quick. 
I remember this as the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. What's up, Gazman? What's up, Petemology? You can get all sorts of milk these days. It's ridiculous. Soy, almond. Yeah, but that just said milk, though, Capone. Right, said. So, right, okay, sorry. I'm actually enjoying this. I'm glad someone is. Oh, well, I'm in the wrong fucking... Where am I supposed to go here? So that's just... Main Street. Okay, fine. Oh, God, it's not a... Right, okay, let's go here first. We'll go 500 Lake Road. We'll go 500 Lake Road. Then we'll double back on ourselves and get the rest later. Let's go. Is this the game that Matt went on about? Yeah, it is. It's the game that Matt went on about on the pod. I think he thinks it's game of the year. Hey, Moe's Diner. And there stands Diner. Wait, it's called Moe's Diner now? Nothing catching you out, is there? Right, I need to get... What was it called, though? What, what was the address? Oh, fucking hell. What was the actual address? East Lake Road. Moe's Diner, East Lake Road. And it's a parcel. Let's hold on. Well, how do I know what number it is? 300, 500, or 200? Does it say on the front of the thing? Oh, 500, 500. Says in the bottom left, gotcha. For a prick through the window. Uh, yeah, I might do that. It's just, just Meredith going rogue. She's a terrible, she's a terrible parking issue. I don't even think she is. I think she can park perfectly fine. She Meredith, what? Fucking does As I live and breathe. Come here, huh? Uh, -huh. uh now, let me look at you. My, oh my. A few lines here and there. And the occasional grey hair. But by gosh, it's you, all right? Bit rude. Wow, Maureen, long time wow, no see. Wow, I haven't feel so seen old. for a while. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here, tell me everything. <laughs> okay, one quick drink then. She can I have a drink. You're busy, huh? It's fine. Little bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. Um, has anyone got Deathloop on the TCJS crew? Yes. Uh, James has got it. Matt Murray's got it. Sean hasn't got PS5, so he hasn't got it. And I can't afford it. Because it's a tight month this month. Uh, so I'm going to wait until I can afford it. I really want it, but... Too expensive for me, baby. Uh, am I enjoying this so far, Colin Russ Wilson? I think the answer is no. Um... I thought James was going away. No, James bought it in the end. Maybe I've spoiled something, I don't know. But he, I, I texted him over the weekend and said, have you bought it? He said, yeah. So he's going to be covering it. Um, But yeah, no, it was. Uh, we're sort of in an in-between month at the moment where Joe has returned to work for the first time properly since March of last year. So we're paying for childcare for the two kids based on Joe's month where she wasn't working properly so she's working this month she get a normal wage back and then and then um yeah we'll, we'll hopefully it'll be easier next month it's ridiculous man we pay we pay nearly 700 pound a month for childcare for both of them 500 pound on charlie and 200 pound on uh harry for after school club a month that's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's right. Petermology. Sorry to hear that, David. Uh, people at the Raid Shadow. What's that? Time to call the people at Raid Shadow. I don't even know what that is. That's two PS5s. It is. It totally is. Um, yeah, and get this. Charlie only goes to nursery twice a week. Two days a week, I think. Or is it three? I think it's two. Um, and Harry only goes to after school club twice a week. It's, uh, yeah, it's tight. So I can't afford Death Loop this month, but hopefully next month, fingers crossed, if all goes well. Um, right. News goes around pretty quickly around here. So, coffee? Something stronger? I warn you, I will not take no for an answer. That's a bit weird, after the softest genre. Fuck, I'm 17 again. Coffee sounds coffee good. Coffee sounds good. Yeah. Thanks. Two coffee. I'll smash Coming coffee. right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. You had one almost every afternoon after school at one point. Yeah. I'm not going to school anymore. Oh, nah, fuck it. You know I want me a, too I want well, Maureen. Pie. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry pie. Do you reckon those other people that are expecting parcels have a tracking app? And they're just going, oh, two stops until my parcel comes, delivered by Maureen, but she hasn't moved for about an hour. Her. And Ashley, uh, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm going to take my break now. <laughs> You're a real trooper. Awesome, guys. So, <laughs> let, me, let me make it clear. I wasn't asking for money. <laughs> but the... um. Without a doubt, Patreon has just like saved us the past couple of months. So thank you to all the people who subscribe. Uh, yeah, I know. They should do that, shouldn't they? All delivery people should just go for a coffee and a pie. Is this set, it's set in the 80s. It is set in the 80s. That's right. There's no tracking. You've, you've done me there, Nose Jam. You've absolutely done me. Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary. What are you doing? Uh, is everything okay, hon? That stuff is great. I love the muffled boy stuff. It's it's up there with, you know, in the old days when you, somebody used to be on the phone and they'd go, yes? <laughs> no, really? <laughs> well, that stuff is best. Oh, Lord have mercy. That didn't sound good. Honestly! First the roof and now this? Didn't know oh, what to choose. That something. poor kid is like a disaster magnet. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Don't be a stranger now. Where's my fucking pie? Unbelievable. Let me go back in. Oh, the... Did they really kick everyone out of the diner for that? Hold on. Don't have a look. Is that, is that character again? That. Oh, it doesn't know. Yeah, it doesn't click through the thing. Fine. Let's go see what's around the back. Oh, that's good. That's good. They've got a. Um, a fire escape round the back because the travel distance in one direction cannot exceed 18 meters so they put fire escape in at the back unfortunately it doesn't comply with part m of the building regs because it is not accessible if you have a staff in a wheelchair they would not be able to get out of that so almost the right thing They won't be able to get in either. God, this is awful. I mean, you've got more than enough room for a ramp there, I'd say. I've got more than enough room for a ramp. In fact, actually, why is it all raised? Why wouldn't you just... Why is the whole building off of the ground like that? I just assumed it was on the slope, but it's not. 
Why would you raise it up that high? That makes zero sense. That makes absolutely no sense. Bullshit. You would not raise the whole building up like that. That makes absolutely no sense. Okay. Let's get back on my motor. only thing that I can think is that if there's a lake close by. Oh, there is a lake, isn't there? Okay. Okay. Maybe that's maybe that's for flood defence, but even then... Even then, I don't... I'm not convinced. I haven't done enough work on flood defence buildings, so maybe, maybe they're absolutely right with that. Right, okay. Get in the fucking car. Alright, let's go. Even then, you should be putting ramp ramps in. Come on. Even in the 80s, you know what I mean? Alright, go for a little drive. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of that. Whoops. Oh, you didn't look then. Didn't look fucking idiots around it. I like the fact that this is a pretty average looking game and it's still giving me a lot of slowdown. Still dropping the odd frame. Ah, the mighty Ambrose River. Let's go and do this quick. This one's pretty easy. That's a shame you have to get out every time. What was that? Any component grand fans here? Yeah, I mean, there better be. Uh, Gazman says, isn't this always the answer? Like, when did... I and all the... start being a thing. I thought like the 80s was just free roam to f, f about. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Brand new podcast. What? You started a new podcast, um, Capone. When are you going to come back on TCGS? <laughs> you haven't texted me in ages. I've been quite hurt. Quite upsetting that uh, a friend of mine just doesn't seem bothered anymore. Not even a how's it going in COVID, David. Not one. Oh shit, I've got another thing. Covid's bad, isn't it, Dave? But I haven't had a text like that. Capone. Well, hello there, but big cuddly I don't guy. What this is. This is drugs. I've seen a lot of border patrol, and they they stuff. Oh, I'm not allowed to talk about that, am I? It's not. It's a teddy bear. Oh, look, Genevieve, a new mailman. Hello it's a podcast there. where me and Graham talk name, about then? Philips Hue lights. It's called Philips Hue Podcast. Right, okay, I'm up for that. I'll download that. Well, I'm not a mailman exactly. I'm Meredith. Hi, Miss Jenkins. Right, I'm Meredith. Right, first one. Well, I'm not a mailman exactly. I'm Meredith Weiss. Heavens, I meant no offense. It's just that male woman doesn't sound right, does it, Genevieve? Why Come so on, it's, it's the 80s. You're Emily's girl, it's the 80s. aren't you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. It's Meredith. Wouldn't want the cat to get it wrong. Oh, pardon me then. You do remember me, don't you? No, and I don't like you, elderly lady. <laughs> First one. Of course, you're the cat lady, and uh, you've got more cats than ever. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? 
So what if yeah. I have slightly more of them than I used to? Like Genevieve here, and Thomas, and Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? No, it's a fucking cat. Yes, here you go. Ah, thank you, dear. Looks like another gift from my son. Still doing everything it's to get into to be on my good graces. I think another eight to sixteen months feels about right. Okay. Okay. Oh, um, I'll put that in my diary, Capone. Well, anyway. I don't like run. Old ladies. Run cool. along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. I don't know who Emily is. Genevieve. Who's Emily? That's weird, because in my selection of dialogue, that was the first time she said her name. So that just sounds weird. You got a problem? You got a problem, mate? You got a problem? There's clearly enough room to go around. Clearly. Look, I haven't parts well. I know that. You've hit my fu- Hold on a minute. Whoa! You're away, you've been in a collision? Hold on. That does not look good. Ooh, looks like a radar. Beep, yeah. Any damage? No, you're alright. I mean, go round! Okay. People complain about cyberpunk. This is worse. <laughs> Okay, here we go. In a few days, I won't even need that now. Are they still there? Just gonna whack the brakes on. Oh, they are? No, it's not as bad as Cyberpunk then. Oh. What do you think you're doing? Nope, 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 nope. You ain't cutting in. Sorry. Okay. Right. I'll play the game. Sorry. I'll play the game. Uh, right. I need to pass with it. What's that? Much better than No More Heroes 3. I've not played No More Heroes 3. I don't know what No More Heroes is, to be honest with you. Genuinely, it's the name of a game that I've heard a million times before, but I don't know. That's lighter than I thought. I don't know what it is. Right. Okay. Hi there. I'll give it to you. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. Yeah, but, uh, well done. Luckily, oh, okay, that's well dry. That second option is well dry. Ha ha, real funny. But that doesn't explain why Frank gave you the keys for the goose. The goose? Yes, your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori. I'm Providence Oaks mechanic, and I'm the okay. one who keeps the goose running. Why is everyone dickhead in this town? Aren't yes. you a little young Boom. to be a mechanic? Fuck My you. father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in PO than me. No, he hasn't. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? Well, yeah. I don't have much of a I choice, like do him. I? I'm gonna give some nope. sass. Did Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. Well, Plus, isn't that a bridge raft? Dot com, BBC Two. If that happens, Do I sound just weird give it a big old bang on the, on the dashboard, and that should fix it right up. I'm it's not weird, on, right? They are easily the best animal out there. Easily. Um, uh, thanks. I guess. You're I'm welcome. Just sass, I whatever. guess. Like giraffes are like the best. There's not even any competition. Name a better animal. There's not one. Yeah, yeah, cheers, cheers, people. Talk about radio. Oh, that's just some, some radio. Let's go. Oh, how do I get out of there? Oh, 
next right. Okay, there's only fucking three roads in this fucking town. Let's go. No, I'm not listening to that. Anything better? Is that it? It's just radio on or off. Brilliant. Up here. Sounds like a Gervais song. Oh, hello. Can I just drive? Yeah. Oh, right. Bear Creek, near the old lumber yard. Yeah, that's cool. There's a new face. Rare science. Yes, indeed. Okay. As of today, I'll be delivering the mail. Great. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Ugh. I'm Meredith. That's horrible. And what? It just had a big mail. fucking neck. Thanks. I'd better open this right away. It just had a big fucking neck. Oh, what the? I'll leave you to it. Have a nice day. <laughs> uh, yeah. Bye. Thanks, and... Sorry. It's not your fault this is full of bull crap. Okay, for turn to post office. This is rubbish this game, isn't it? Okay, where's the post office again? Let's have a look. What is this? Woods. <laughs> okay. What was the post office? Up here, yeah. There. No general store. Post office, right. Oh, what? That was weird. What happened there? What, what the fuck happened then? Okay, whatever. This is a weird game, man. <laughs> okay. I don't know if can just break around that corner, though. Right, okay, let's... How are we all doing? How are we all holding up? Uh, have, you have you played this? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. What, what is he talking about? It? It's lovely that nothing happened. Well, look, it's very early on. I'll give it a little bit more time. But... I'm not feeling it at the moment. Is everyone getting sick? Yeah, see, I've, I don't get motion sick, but that actually made me feel a bit rough. That's it. I uh, won a uh, Rocket League tournament this week and then last night it was a Rocket League Platinum tournament and last night I got to the final of um, is this the post office? is this post office? I can't remember yeah it is isn't it Yep. Uh, and last night I got to the final of the Diamond Tournament and we won the first game but lost the next two. I was absolutely devastated. So there's a good chance I'm going to try and make the Diamond Tournament again tonight. Let's park it properly. Yeah, perfect. Hello. Hi, Meredith. It's Mom. How well, are the you? Well, lyrics to the song. Job? Okay. Hi, Mom. I'm doing great. Hi, Mom. It's I'm all right. The job is okay, I guess. Hi, Mom. Right. I want to be I'm nice to Mom. I'm doing great. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. Ah, oh, that's great to hear. 
Dad says it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. Uh, I, I kind of... I... Yeah, I did choose to stream. It was my fault. I can imagine that. How is Dad? I can imagine that. How is Dad? Can he handle all this freedom? Ugh, don't get me started. He went on two fishing boat trips already. Maybe it gets good, but really I don't. And then there's really the really night poker with his new buddies. Oh, I'm almost Yeah, that's what I want to do in retirement. I'm going to play poker with my buddies. Dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Talk soon. Stay at home and watch TV or stay at home and read a book? Who, who would choose read a book over watch hmm. TV? Let's see what's on TV tonight. Let's see what's on TV. Previously on Bon Appetit. Has anyone seen Henri? Yeah, he's in the kitchen, unpacking the new tableware. Henri! Did someone call me? <laughs> Is that supposed to be a low alert? Was that supposed to be a low alert? There's choices in the game, they don't really seem that different, they don't, do they? <laughs> okay, where am I? Right, I'm starting work again. I have, oh, I'm at the post office, it's just fast forward to that. Okay, that is a poor font for a post office, isn't it? Proper Times New Roman bullshit. Good morning, Providence Oaks. We're starting the day as we always do. With a PO positive or pet B, followed by the weather. PO positive or pet B. Dale, what's it gonna be? It's a positive all the way, Jack. I went to Moe's Diner yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had. Oh, I've gone the wrong way here. Hold on, where have I got to go? Oh, you fucking. That's right the way over there. That's, that that's bad, so right there. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you much, Dale. That makes me want to get a piece right now. But. The weather's first. We'll start off sunny with a few clouds later today. How about some music now? Okay. Let's go the music. What is this? Main Street. What number is it though? 351. Yeah, I, I, there was a, what was that game that I played recently? I think it was um, Last Stop, where some of them was like, there was like a choice. You could either say, leave me alone, or um, we'll talk later. And whatever you picked, like if I picked leave it alone, it would go, leave me alone. Look, we'll talk later. <laughs> it was like, okay, it really didn't matter what I chose then. Welcome to the Flick Shack. How can I help you? Got a package for you, ma'am. <laughs> Hold on. We're all You're very our new postal tonight. worker in here. Talk about not looking the I've part. I've been off. Well, I was off on Wednesday, ill. Then Thursday, I was ill. And then Friday, I worked from home. Back to the present. Very good. Uh, I could say the same thing about you. Is that a compliment? <laughs> is that a compliment? <laughs> Trust me. Let's do that. It definitely is. Well, thank you then. Okay. Name's Meredith, by the way. Meredith Weiss. Angie, Eastman. So, what brings you to Providence Oaks? <laughs> yeah, that one. Grew up here, and now I'm back to do my dad a favor. Ah, I myself Spam have been buses. here for six years. <laughs> and what brings you here? Didn't grow up here, came to do myself a favor. Touche, Mrs. Eastman. Miss. So, how's business? It's I like the uh, it's it's booming. Supposed to be People pricing. in Providence Oaks sure like their movies. The <laughs> I guess it's because there's not much else to do around here. Might as well watch a flick, right? Is that labyrinth? <laughs> mm, you certainly have a lot of them. Choice is everything. Nothing quite tickles the imagination like the right movie at the right time. Hmm. Back to Maybe the I penis. should watch more movies. <laughs> well, <laughs> like it was nice meeting you, Miss Eastman. Uh, call me Angie. And here, someone just returned this. 
and it should be right up your alley. The postman always rings twice? <laughs> My kind of humor. Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> Miss. But touche, Angie. This is... What the fuck? No one talks like this. Is it just me? Is it just me? Like half of you, like most of you have gone to sleep. This is how people flirt now. Well, not now, is it? This is set in the 80s, not a spaceship. So... People don't talk like this. This is weird, man. <sighs> All right. I'll check it out if I have the time. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack. And there's plenty of choice, regardless. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same here, Miss Meredith. What the fuck? She disappeared. Note just come round and push me out of the way. What's she doing? What is she doing? Right. She just got pointed out when I moved away. Note one, two. Video games are fucking weird, aren't they? All these... Okay. I mean, respect for all of the parody uh, uh, films and stuff, but... What's in the bargain bin? Half price. Oh, there you go. You've got Fear and Loathing in Lugs, Las Vegas. I get, I get the joke. What oh, weird. Let's go. Where's my van? This is gonna be a tough old time. I'm gonna have to have a word with Matt Muzzer on Monday when we record. I've got to go around the corner for that one, so I'll just get out of here. Oh, you've got to get out. Go post the letter. It should just be parcels. This bit is done. Literally no reason to do this. to Pine Street. Come around the back again. Oh, That's Pine lighter Street. than I thought. Why is she making these comments? She's made that comment twice now. Stop thinking about the weight of packages. Commander oh. Grace. We have established communication with ground control. How do you wish to proceed? Tell we landed the yeah, rocket! Yeah, this could be an ground achievement control, thing, right? We have landed the rocket! We will now begin our Wouldn't experiments! Wouldn't that be great? Um, or you find out package that for the Evans family? Late. Just a minute! Commander Grace! Permission to explore? Permission granted! We'll go deliver <laughs> pieces yep. of their spaceship the to get family. home. Could I just take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar landing. Sure. They're aliens. Here you go. Nice helmet, by the way. Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. 
Wait. What? Meredith? Buzz Aldrin? <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Who are you? What? For real? You don't recognize your old best friend when you see her? Wait a minute. Kay? Great. And now I busted my colander. <laughs> I knew opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. <laughs> what? Uh, Gary, can you animate the, uh, taking of the mask off, please? Gary? Gary? Uh, Gary's ill at the moment. Oh, sh- I don't know, we'll work around it. We'll work around it. Uh, I'll be honest with you, this is, this is dung. I'll give it, I've only been playing for an hour. Well, I barely even that as well, because I've been pausing a lot, but okay. I'm sorry, I didn't recognize you with the colander thing. The helmet. Yeah, clearly. But it seems I'm not the only one who came in disguise. Got me there. You've lived in Providence Oaks all this time? Don't sound so surprised. But yes, I married Barry. Evans? I'm sure you remember our high school star. I'm married Barry. Mom! Evans. Be right there, Commander Grace. Scanning for alien life forms. That's my little scientist back there. She's crazy about space travel, as you may have guessed. Even after the whole Challenger thing. Cool to Barry. Sounds like you're doing wanna, great. I'm, doing I'm happy for you. Well, obviously a lot can happen in 22 years, so... Yeah, no shit. <sighs> Time flies. So, I Time heard you were fly. back in town for a while. From Maureen. That's right. Hold on. Hold on. So she knew I was back in town for a while, yet she acted surprised when she saw me. Like it, like she couldn't believe I was there. Ah, uh, latest pathology. I ran into her yesterday at the diner. Your uncle Stan wasn't there, unfortunately. I must have just missed him. Nope, it's Moe's diner now. Like I said, a lot of things happened while you were away. Also, I work there what, now. What happened? At the diner. Well, you weren't there. Taking over the family business as compared notes. It's great. Maybe I'll drop by sometime. That's great. Right, maybe. maybe I'll drop by sometime. Yeah, we'll see. Ready for a liftoff. Listen, I'm sorry, but I don't really have time for this right now. Can't get stuck on the moon on my own, and I have to get ready for work. See you around, Em. <laughs> Good to see you, Kay. Evans! <laughs> <laughs> Commander Grace, hold up! You'll never guess what I just found. You can say that again. Okay, get in the van. All right, let's go. Let's let's finish this day at least, yeah. Let's finish this day. This is going to be a tough game to play this. Right, where am I going? Oh, not that. Where am I going? I am going down to Haran Circle. So let's do that. Let's try and swing it as fast as I can. Nope, no, no, you do need to break. Okay, fine. Whew. Oof. Anyone got any jokes? Live in the stream up. This is the sort of game that I think would I appreciate it more if I wasn't streaming? I think the answer might be no. It's hard to tell, but. Hmm. 
Same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. I'm guessing party invitations? Bit rude. You would do that though. If you were a post you would definitely like make little judgments and stuff. Without a shadow of a doubt. The minimap looks like I'm in stealth mode. What happens if you try and hit someone? Ah, oh, there's one the other side of the policy. Right, okay. <sighs> Supposed to stop there, but not me. I'm on the delivery. Come on. Did you try and drive into the lake like Matt? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I wasn't looking. I was reading your comments. Uh, I haven't tried that yet. I will try that in a bit. I want to see if I can get a pedestrian. Right, where's the... It's my next door neighbour. Hey, Mum and Dad have new neighbours. Siegler, huh? Don't think they ever mentioned them. Okay. Did she, did that sound like she was being dark judgmental of the uh, surname there? Sorry, I'm so ill. Right, let's get out of here. Heartless. <laughs> Dear, so glad you could come by. Oh, oh God, it's, it's the, like the emergency. What's wrong, Miss Jenkins? What? It's poor little Mortimer. <laughs> He's fallen ill, I think. One minute he was full of life, the next he, well, he just wasn't. I mean, I'm not a vet, but. He looks fine to me. Well, fact is, you're not a vet, are you? Do you know who knows about animals, though? It's Mr. Mackey. He runs the old okay. pet shop by the neck. Could you take Mortimer okay. to him? I'm sorry, but I don't think oh, I can yeah, do yeah. that. Driving around living creatures is a little above my pay grade. Hmm. I suppose rules are rules. But can't you make an exception for poor little Mortimer? Yeah. Well, it's my first week, so... No, I can't. I... I understand. <laughs> I'll find someone else. Bye, Miss Jenkins. Yeah, find someone else, bye, Jenkins. Meryl. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to take a cab up. No chance. You can't just ask the postman to go and say, you've met me once. Well, you know, once since I've come back. I'm here for two weeks, I'm not going to fucking take your cat around. I'm sorry. That's a weird thing to ask someone. Isn't it? That's a weird thing to ask someone. Yeah, I mean... Gives a shit. Here's your mail. Right, take him yourself. Go and ask. Don't expect the fucking postman to just drop everything they're doing to take your cat. Out. Do I know if James has been practicing the theme tune? Um, well, I said to him, friendly reminder, you've got to play the theme tune. And he said, well, that's my Sunday visit sorted then. So, my prediction is no. Tomorrow is the first day that he's going to get it out, even though he said he needed two weeks to learn the theme tune on his Casio keyboard. Just sticks out a really grounded setting, yeah. 
Yeah, but then this is it though, isn't it, good fella? Like, if you're going to create a game like this, let it feel natural. Like, make it feel natural. The natural conversation, natural tasks, all of that stuff. If you're going to try, try and make everything grounded, don't have an old lady saying, can you just take my cat somewhere, please? No, I can't do that. I bet the cat dies tomorrow. Find out tomorrow, will we? Hold your breath. <gasps> Do that? You shouldn't really do that when you're driving. I, I, I do that when I'm driving sometimes. You go for a really long tunnel and you nearly pass out. God, the man's like shit as well. Okay, yeah, let's just drop this off and then we're done for the day and then we can turn the stream off. Nope. That'll do it. Okay, I'll just. Sorry about that. Any damage? Of course it's not. Right, this sounds like it should be on the soundtrack to Cars 4. As they're driving into the sunset. Okay, that's good. How long is this going? Too long. Too long, baby. Alright, my Parcel type of for person. You. Um, I hope I'm not disturbing, but here's a parcel for you. One minute, I'm busy. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, sir. Is that a parcel for me? Yes. No, it. Let's go for it's that. for Bigfoot. You can just put it on the counter. Not the best delivery of that line. <laughs> You're welcome. He is being rude, to be fair. He is being very rude. Okay. Let's go to the post office. That is that is a bit rude. Even though he's a gamer, he's one, one of my crew. That was very rude. While my drinking, I'm drinking the best of the widely available lagers. Here at Moretti. I that's the, the that's the guy. See the guy on the thing. That's the one that I keep saying looks like Harry, and I got the woman in the shop to ask Harry if that was him on the ball, and he burst into tears. That was uh, a little dead joke if it backfired. Right, let's go. Oh, no cell. Oh, that's where I was just was. Let's go. If I can see a place to dry and dry and drive in the lake, I'll do that. Doesn't seem to be anywhere yet. Yeah. Used to think our spanner dam was just as big and famous as Hoover Dam. Then I visited Hoover Dam. Yeah, fuck, idiot. The shadows disappearing is really annoying. Can you see that on the road? I think they're the um, electrical lines. It's not doing the shadow properly. Can I go into the field? Stay in those shadows, look. Watch, watch. Okay, then. Right. 
I'm not seeing like an online game either, so I can just pause. Well, oh, no, okay, I hit a tree. Maybe if I try, what if I try and drive by watching the delay on the stream? No, no, stop doing that, it's stupid. What if I just... Oh. had enough of it today. The kids are at home. I'm travelling home from work. The kids are at home. My wife's already texted me and said they're playing up. I've just had enough. I've just had enough. I don't care if the car's damaged. <laughs> Excuse me, sir? Excuse me? Sir? The music is sound like there's some massive standoff. <laughs> oh, it actually does look pretty mad. <laughs> okay, let's get on. Let's get back in the car and finish this stuff. Right, come on. Ah, damn. And my boss's car. Ah, oh, it's probably my car, isn't it? Probably just fucked my own car up there. Oh, what does the X do? Meredith, hi. Oh, hi, Steve. How are you? Busy as two peas. Added 87 is really getting there. Hey, listen, you've got plenty of time, right? Yeah, there's not much to do around here. Awesome, I need a favor. I sent a bunch of files your way. It's the, <laughs> the one cat death for Meredith's uh, record. It's good, but not great. It needs your magic. Do you think you can add it? Huh? <laughs> what? Uh, I'm not sure. How many pages are we talking about here? I'm on holiday. It's not much. It's just a pitch, and there's also an instruction booklet. It can't be more than 100 pages. I could just send it to your uh, post office, right? No. I guess. Awesome. Mail it back to me as soon as possible. Priority mail. Thanks so much. Oh, I gotta run. Okay, Steve. Oh, one final thing. Now let this marinate. <clears throat> add it, 87. Add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, I got a jet. Bye. <sighs> Twat. Yeah, let's read. Let's All watch right. the postman let's always ring twice. Fuck it, why not? <sighs> okay. Oh, well, Steve's parcel, and a note from Tess. Hey, Em. Hope you're doing well. Steve told me you'd want to read through this monstrosity. Not sure if you really said that, but have a great time there, anyways. Take care. Test. Okay, that's me done. Um, uh, for the day, we will continue some more lake. Possibly, I don't know. Um, uh, it's not been the best evening, has it? But uh, thank you for watching. We will uh, we will catch you on the show Wednesday. Uh, I think James is going to be playing some more Dark Souls. I think uh, Sean is starting a stream this week. Um, I'm sorry, that was terrible. You can all let Matt Murray know that that, that 
that's terrible. So uh, <laughs> I'll catch you later. Like that fucking hell. Uh, uh.